Hello, wonderful people. Welcome into today's video. Thank you so much for joining me as I check out Clerks from 1994 for the very first time. This was the runner up in a Patreon poll that I put out where I randomly drew movies from my suggestion form. I have had hundreds of you submit movies to me through that, so thank you so much. When I drew Clerks and I put it in the poll, I had no idea that this movie was the first in a series called The View Askew Universe. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'd never heard of Clerks before. I had never heard of this series of movies before. I have no idea what to expect. All I know about this movie is that it's a comedy, so I'm excited to check it out. And let me know in the comments below if I should check out any of the other movies in this universe. <laughs> as always, if you would rather watch the full movie with me, you can find that watch along over on my Patreon. Links as always in the description and pinned comment. And with that, if you're new here, my name is Kale. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you to all my YouTube subscribers. Thank you to everyone on Patreon. And thank you to you for watching today. I really appreciate it. And with that, let's press play. Also, as a heads up, when I am speaking, if you hear like some kind of noise in the background, it's just my fan. It's July in Canada and the country's been on fire since May. It was a hot one today. And this room is the hottest in my house, thanks to two PCs running pretty much all the time. I am looking at a clown with a wrinkly butt wearing heels and tights. <laughs> View askew productions. Excellent. <gasps> is this whole movie in black and white? That's unexpected. Was man sleeping in the closet? Oh, I don't work today. I'm playing hockey at two. Why don't you call Randall? I swear you'll be there by 12 and I'll do it. This dog is so cute. I love that they tag that is heavy metal. This is not heavy metal. I love how grainy this video is. I remember like, I would have been like the late 2000s. We would add green filter on all our photos for fun. So this is where he works. Wait, was the cat in here the whole time by itself? <laughs> how come he doesn't have the keys for the other ones? If you plan to shoplift, let us know, thanks. <laughs> Real talk, I would love to work at a store like this. Just any kind of like small shop, I feel like would be so cool. Do you really want to buy those cigarettes? Are you serious? How long have you been smoking? I don't know, since I was about 13. I feel like 13 was such a common age to start smoking. And that's like been consistent, maybe into like the youngest generations right now. It's what they install in your throat when throat cancer takes your voice box. This one came out of a 60 year old man. Oh, God. <laughs> Used to put the cigarette in this thing and smoke it that way. Oh. They don't know each other, right? Like he's just getting lectured by a stranger. Here, chew these gum, try this. Oh, Jesus. Ah, it's a picture of a cancer ridden lung. I'll just take the gum. <laughs> it's man's day one of being smoke free. <laughs> I appreciate it, don't mm. bother the customers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How long you been smoking? Oh my gosh, brother. <laughs> oh, are we at a movie store? A movie rental place? I miss those. This movie so far reminds me of like either a high school or a college, like, movie project. I'ma fuck this bitch, I'ma fuck this bitch. Yo, what's up, baby? What's up, sluts? I'd like to go down on you, suck you, line up three other guys, make like a circus seal. I hate guys. What is up I with this guy? Women. <laughs> you can like both, my guy. You don't have to pick one. 20, maybe $30 a week on your cigarettes. This guy is now doing a whole anti-smoking lecture classroom vibe. <laughs> It's that kind of mentality that allows the cancer producing industry to thrive. And the industry, well, not the industry, well, society. Society did a great job of like getting people off cigarettes and then vaping became a thing. The tobacco will never go away. I think you gotta leave now. You want me to leave? Why? Don't you have a job to go to? Now I am a customer. I'm gonna buy some Chulis yeah, Gum. Yeah. But you bought a coffee. <laughs> He's scared now, because he sees the threat we present. Oh my God. Okay, can you also be this passionate at every other store that sells cigarettes and not just this guy? Ooh. Who's leading this mob? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Freeze. Yeah, the guy that was about to slowly just sneak out of the place. You're a Chulis gum representative? Chew. Oh. <laughs> to what, sell more gum? <laughs> Out of here. I literally would have never guessed that. I thought he was just being a disturbance just to be one. Why don't you open the shutters, get some sunlight in here? Someone he doesn't have gum in the lock. 
Thanks. Oh, gross. Take change when applicable, be honest. Thanks. <laughs> He's painting her nails. What a king. Get yourself a man that will do this to you. You think anybody can see us down here? Why? Do you want to have sex or something? Uh, can we? Really? <laughs> Women as lovers are basically the same. They just have to be there. Making a male climax isn't at all challenging. No. Now, making a woman come, therein lies a challenge. Oh, you think so? How many different girls have you slept with? Twelve. Ow! What'd you do that for? You're a pig! What'd you hit me? Do you me? know how many different men I've had sex with? Oh, do I get to hit you after you tell me? Three. <laughs> you only slept with three different people? Everyone has different experiences. There's no right or wrong number, or too high or too low. After dropping a bombshell like that, you owe me big. I want you to come with me on Monday. I wish you'd go back to school. Jesus, will you stop it? You're making my head hurt. Oh, hey, Ronnie. How you been, man? So Dante and Ronnie. No, I, I transferred into Mammoth this year. I was tired of missing him. That's beautiful, man. You two lovebirds take it easy, okay? That guy is so chill. Well, <laughs> maybe a little bit too out of it. <laughs> After he gets a blowjob, he likes to have it spit back into his mouth while kissing. It's called snowballing. You request this? He gets off on it. You don't think we talked into anything. No, I, I snowballed him. Yeah, right. Yeah, how do you think I knew that he... We went out a few times. We never had sex, but we fooled around. I understood that you had sex with three different guys, and that's all you said. Please calm down. How many? Dante. How many dicks have you sucked? Go. How many? Fight. So loud. 36. What? Does that include me? 37. I'm 37? I'm going to class. My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. In a row? <laughs> Every time I kiss you, I'm gonna taste 36 other- Oh my gosh. Hugest overreaction ever. Hey, try not to suck any dick on the way through the parking lot. <laughs> Hey, this you, guy. Get back here. If you're not going to like the potential answer, don't even ask the question. Right? That's why you're jockeying a register in some fucking local convenience store instead of working on a steady job. Oh, my gosh. Well, if you'll just tell me the title of the movie, I'm sure he'll hold it for you. Don't hurt yourself, buddy. I'll go to Big Choice Video instead. Ooh. You do that. Guy ain't here yet. You're kidding. It's almost 1130. I know. I've been here since 11. Dental school? You came for that, too? That's a movie I came for. I have first dibs. Ain't gonna happen, my friend. I'm getting that movie. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. All right, asshole, you're on. I hope she gets it. Oh, prices on the wall, 240, 70 cents for a soda. Go open the store. Oh, oh, this is the guy. Okay. And she doesn't know that. <laughs> you called Caitlin again? She called me. Did you tell Veronica? I think one fight a day, Veronica, is about all I can stomach, thanks. What do you two <laughs> fight about anyway? <laughs> She just wants me to leave here and go back to school and get some direction. I bet the most frequent topic of arguments is Caitlyn Bray. Who's Caitlyn? Let the past be the past. Forget Caitlyn Bray. X? X. How long did you date Caitlyn? Five years. Oh, well, that's a long time. Did she done you how many times? Eight and a half. In the middle of it, she called me Brad. She called you Brad? Oof. Called me Brad. Oh, that's not cheating. People say crazy shit during sex. One time I called this girl mom. <laughs> I mean, aside from the cheating, we were a great couple. I mean, that's what high school was about. Algebra, bad lunch, and infidelity. Well, I think the arguments Veronica and I are having are some kind of manifestation of a subconscious desire to break up with her. I think all four of you had better sit down and talk it over. <laughs> all four? You, Veronica, Caitlin, and Caitlin's fiance. Oh, shit. Did you sell videotapes? Yeah, what are you looking for? <laughs> Do you sell videotapes? I'm on the phone with the distribution house now. Let me make sure they got it. I'd like to place an order. Whispers in the wind. To each his own. My pipes need cleaning. All tit fucking volume eight. <laughs> oh no. I just realized that people that worked at stores like this fully knew about your desires, we'll call it. I'm an ex-boyfriend and, well... It's just that I talked to her all the time and she never mentioned this engagement. That's why I'm thinking maybe it's a misprint. Really, dude? Oh, no. Oh, for part of Russia are you from? Moscow. <laughs> he really wants to play metal? Yeah, he's got his own band in Moscow. It's called Fuck Your Yankee Blue Jeans or something like that. You gotta hear him sing Olaf Berserker. My love for you is like a truck bell Zaka. Would you like some making fuck bell Zaka? <laughs> This guy leaves a lot. Hold on to the counter and I'll pull. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta let those hard to reach chips go. Thanks. You know that article's accurate? Caitlin really is getting married. 
You know what I just watched? Me pulling a can off some moron's fist? Return of the Jedi. What did you like better? Jedi or the Empire Strikes Back? Empire. Blasphemy. <laughs> They build another Death Star, right? Now, the first one was completed and fully operational before the Rebels destroyed it. And the second one was still being built when they blew it up. The only people on board were stormtroopers, dignitaries, Imperials. The second time around, it wasn't even done being built yet. I bet they brought independent contractors in on that thing. <laughs> Plumbers, aluminum siders, roofers. And not just Imperials, is that what you're getting at? Exactly. Why are you so upset at its destruction? All those innocent contractors Aww. brought in to do the job were killed. <laughs> this man's about to make me see the original trilogy a whole other way. <laughs> this is a government contract, which means all sorts of benefits. I don't, the Empire did not give you benefits. There's no way. I knew who he was, and based on that, I turned the job over to a friend of mine. <laughs> the music in the background, did they just yell Chewbacca? <laughs> My friend was shot. Chewy. Any contractor working on that Death Star knew the risk involved. If they got killed, it's their own fault. Yes, it's their fault they got blown up on the Death Star. <laughs> they say so much, but they never tell you if it's any good. That's because everyone has a different opinion. You have to watch for yourself and decide. Like I do with every movie I react to here on the channel. I find it's best to stay out of other people's affairs. You mean you haven't heard anybody say anything about either one of these? Nope. Are we about to have a Karen moment? Well, what about these two? Oh, they suck. <laughs> these are the same two movies? You weren't paying any attention. No, nope. I wasn't. I don't think your manager would appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. your ruse, ma'am. Your cunning attempt to trick me. I was only pointing out that you weren't paying any attention to what I was saying. Uh, there's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others, is there? Well, this <laughs> is the last time I rent here. You'd be missed. Screw mm. you! <laughs> This guy is going through all the eggs, look. What is he doing? He said he has to find the perfect dozen. Why doesn't he just mix and match? I told him that and he yelled at me. <laughs> What'd he say? He said it was important to have standards. So a perfect dozen has to be in the same container? I'm not even supposed to be here today. Oh, I feel like once you do that, you gotta buy it. It's important to have a job that makes a difference, boys. That's why I manually masturbate caged animals for artificial insemination. <laughs> The conversations in this movie are great. Also, it's nice to watch movies. So I watched the Before Trilogy here on the channel. They're very dialogue heavy, just run on conversation pretty much the whole time. I've been wanting to watch more movies like that, and I had no idea that this movie was like that. So very happy right now. You ever notice that all the prices end in nine? And there's a difference between 99, 95, 98, 97. Can't remember, I read up on that many years ago about the reasons why, but can't remember anymore. Think of the weirdest, craziest shit you'd like to see chicks do. They insert things into any opening on their body. Can we not talk about this now? The chiz mopper's job is to clean it up after each guy shoots a load. I will never come to this place again. <laughs> Using filthy language in front of the customers, you both should be fired. <laughs> it's probably like a wholesome Christian man. <laughs> I don't know if sorry can make up for Just it. Just leave. You highly offended me. Just leave. Well, if you think that's offensive, check this out. Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> I think you can see your kidneys. <laughs> Why do you do things like that? Everybody that comes in here is way too uptight. This job would be great if it wasn't for the fucking customers. Every job is like that. <laughs> Every customer job, anyway. Come on, who pisses you off? Maybe just a group of customers. The milkmaids. The women that go through every gallon of milk looking for that later date. I've done this before. <laughs> Not like this. It's with the littler cartons. I do it with coffee creamer, actually. I always look for the, <laughs> the date that's the most far away. <laughs> so do you have any new movies in? You should hear the barrage of stupid questions I get. So how much is this thing anyway? <laughs> Say you vented. Don't you feel better? No, because my ex-girlfriend's getting married. Jesus, you got a one-track mind. You got to vent about that. I stopped home and I brought you some lunch. Peanut butter and jelly with the crust cut off. But the crusts are the best part. I'm glad you've calmed down a bit. Hi, Randall. 37. Shut up. Yeah, he's only calmed down because he's found out about uh, the ex. Well, I got to head back for the 1.30 class. Time to get finished. 8. 1.30 to 8. I'll see you when you close then. Okay. Enjoy the lasagna. Cute. I'm glad they made up. Vermont? No, that, that can't be. I just talked to him this morning. The boss is in Vermont. Well, when the hell was someone going to tell me? <laughs> he promised me he'd be here by noon. Oh, no. My girl. I'm not even supposed to be here today. 
I can't play today. Like, I'm not stuck at work. Neither can Randall. He's working, too. Do we have to play at the park? You feeling limber? Yeah, I just want to play hockey like I was scheduled to. How are we going to block the street? We're not playing in the street. <laughs> On the roof. Amazing. This movie feels so Canadian to me, but I don't know if it is. <laughs> just all the guys remind me of guys that I went to high school and college with. And open the fucking store. Dante, where are you? He's busy. In a second. Look in a second. This, how about covering the point? Man, you suck. Oh, my like you're any better. I'll whip your ass any day, pal. Give me a stick, pretty boy. Oh no. <laughs> Do they have more? No more? What the fuck are you talking about? How many balls you bring? I brought the orange one in. Okay, I think it's actually the States because of the fact that the guy just said orange. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here today. Poor guy. I had a friend that chewed glass for a living. What? Oh. You got cancer from chewing fluorescent bulb glass? Got hit by a bush. <laughs> What kind of toilet paper you got? Oh my gosh. There? It's kind of rough. Maybe I could have something in the back there to read. How long do you plan on spending in there? <laughs> I feel like that's not the last we're seeing of him. Bitch, bitch, bitch. You want something to drink? Yeah, Gatorade. Hey, what happened to all the Gatorade? They drank it all. I'm going to say right now, I miss Gatorade from the 90s. It does not taste the same anymore. And it's disappointing. Embolism in her brain yesterday. I haven't seen her in like two years. Number six. You've had sex with a dead person. Oh, I'm gonna go to her wake. But do you know how many people are gonna be there? All of her old classmates. High school reunion. <laughs> I can't close the store. You just closed the store to play hockey on the roof. Exactly, which means I can't close it for another hour just so we can both go to a wake. You were saying? <laughs> She's pretty young, huh? 22, just like us. 22, all right. Nice to get an age confirmation. That's nothing compared to how my cousin Walter died. How did he die? He broke his neck trying to suck his own dick. Shut the hell up. I swear. What a way to break your neck. Haven't you ever tried to suck your own dick? No. <laughs> yeah, right. You're so repressed. You're as curious as the rest of us, pal. <laughs> I can never reach. Reach what? <laughs> you know. What, your dick? Yeah, like you said, I guess everyone gets curious and tries it sometime. <laughs> I never tried it. Yeah, right. Fucking pervert. <laughs> I can't reach. <laughs> At least when we were playing hockey on the roof, I could see if anybody wanted to go in. Nobody's there. It's four o'clock on a Saturday. I feel like that's a prime time for, yeah, for a convenience store. Why do funeral homes all look the same? I swear. What did you do? <laughs> what happened? I'm telling you, it wasn't my fault. You knocked the casket over, for <laughs> Christ's sake. I was just leaning on it. It was an accident. Her fucking body fell out. I was just about to ask her body fell out, didn't it? <laughs> just go open the video store. You cat. What's his name? Annoying customer. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> We are employees of the Quick Stop Convenience and RST Video, respectively. As such, we have certain obligations, though they may seem cruel and unusual, does mean manning the store until closing. Playing hockey and attending wakes, these practices are standard operating procedures. There's a difference. Those are obligations. Obligations that couldn't have been met at any other date. Well, hockey definitely could. I open? Yes. Space alien revealed as head of Time Warner. <laughs> I feel like I've read that exact headline before as a child in a convenience store. Those like tabloid magazines. My grandma used to read the shit out of those. And I remember one time in a... I'm gonna break Why? your fucking head, you so fucking jerk. I'm sorry, he meant to hit me. Let me refund your money and we'll call it even, all right? I'll never come in here again. And if I see you again, I'm gonna break your fucking head open. <laughs> I hate it when people can't shut up about the stupid tabloid headlines. So you're gonna oh, spit geez. on us? Two, to prove a point. Title does not dictate behavior. What? If title dictated my behavior as a clerk serving the public, I won't be allowed to spit water at that guy. But I did. Even though I work in a video store, I choose to go rent movies at Big Choice. I love these two. So good. Sounds to me like somebody needs to hit the gym. Excuse me? <laughs> I heard you strain when you picked up that milk. You don't get enough exercise. You open? Yes. Are you open? Yes. Why is everyone asking that? Is it because the door still says closed on it? Do you, uh, say Caitlin Bray? Yeah. And you're Dante Hicks. Hey, man, you still going out with her? No, she's getting married. To an Asian design major. Ah, oh, shit. Don't take this the wrong way, but, uh, I used to fuck her. What? Yeah, about two, three years ago. Are you two a dating? <gasps> 
when they were together. Cantlin used to talk about him all the time. Really? Nah, man, don't let it bother you. I'm surprised you didn't know about it, Dante. Everybody in school knew about it. Oh, boy. What's this? The fine for $500. What? For violation of New Jersey statute. New Jersey. Any person who sells or makes available tobacco or tobacco-related products to persons under the age of 18. Uh-oh. Quick Stop employee sold her four-year-old daughter a pack of cigarettes at four o'clock today. Wait, a four-year-old? You claimed you were working here all day, hence the fine is yours. I didn't sell any cigarettes to any kids, I swear! <laughs> I feel like he's in heaven. When did you get home? Just now. I haven't seen you so long. <laughs> he's still very, like, huggy-huggy with her. Hey, congratulations, I saw the announcement to this paper. You know, she's marrying an Asian design major. So I'm told. She doesn't seem happy about it. <laughs> do these guys really have nothing to do <laughs> but just stay out here <laughs> all day? <laughs> so are you really getting married? No. He proposed to me. I told him I had to think about it. And he insisted that I wear the ring anyway. Then my mother told the paper we were engaged. Okay. I understand. That's when I hopped a train to come back here because I knew you'd be a wreck. Wreck is a harsh term. Mm. Yeah, I told you I'd been seeing other people. Yeah, but not seriously. Christ, you're ready to walk down the aisle. I think that constitutes something more than just seeing somebody. She's not, though. I don't want to marry him. I don't want to get married now. I want to go to grad school after this, and then I want to start a career. I don't want to be a wife first and then have to worry about when I'm going to fit in all the other stuff. He's a nice guy. Well, if he's so nice, why aren't you marrying him? I just told you. There's more to this, isn't there? <laughs> Not really. You have nothing to do with Oh, it. you lie! Look how full of yourself you are. Well, if I'm so nuts about you, then why am I having sex with an Asian design major? <laughs> well, let's date. Oh, I think Shang and Veronica, they'd love that. Well, we can introduce the two of them. They may hit it off. You want to date again? I want to be your mm. boyfriend, yes. I think it's time we got back together. I mean, I'm more mature. But she cheated on you. He seems to have totally forgotten about that conversation with that other guy that they just had. <laughs> Let me take you out tonight. On a date? Yeah. You're dating Veronica. Duh, I'm about to become single again. You ask me who I choose, I choose you. So I shall take my leave of you, but I will return in a little while, at which time, yes, I would love to go for dinner and a movie with you. See you later, handsome. Oh boy, he's right back in that. <laughs> he better tell Veronica and not cheat on her because at the start of the movie, he was literally complaining about Caitlyn cheating on him to her. A uh, little girl, maybe four years old. Holy shit, that girl? Yeah, as opposed to the hundreds of other children you've sold cigarettes while working here. Then how come you got the fine? Because I'm here. Okay, that all makes sense now. I'm happy because Caitlin came to see me. Now I know you're lying. I'm not. She just left. She said she's not marrying that guy. She went home to tell her mom. You're kidding. I'm not. Wow, you've had quite an evening. He's had quite the day. You're gonna have to lock up the store tonight. All right, but you're missing out. What does that say? I eat something? Ah. <laughs> you saw that article? God, isn't it awful? My mother sent that in. I take it she likes the guy. You'd think she's marrying him. Maybe she wants to. Can I use your bathroom? There's no lights back there. The boss doesn't want to pay the electrician to fix it because the electrician owes money to the video store. And I'm caught in the middle, torn between my loyalty for the boss and my desire to piss with the lights on. Well, I'll try to manage. Break his heart again this time and I'll kill you. Nothing <laughs> personal. BFFs. Bunch of savages in this town. Nice sweater. She's been back there a long time. There are no lights back there. Why don't you go join her? Make a little batch and bam bam. Oh, I love your sexy talk. It's so kindergarten. Boo boo, wee wee. <laughs> Fuck you. How did you get here so fast? Left well, like an hour ago. You always talk this weird after you violate a woman. It has never been like that before. Want to just lay perfectly still and let me do everything? Am I missing something here? I. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one. Nobody waiting for me. He was? We didn't kiss or talk or anything. You dog, I didn't even see you go back there. God, that was so great. <laughs> it wasn't me. How can she not tell the difference between him and someone else? So we didn't just have sex in the bathroom? No. Now I'm trying to think. The guy that asked for toilet paper and magazine, did he stay in the bathroom the whole time, the whole day? Who the fuck's in our bathroom? Go drag him. Who is it? <laughs> I don't know. He just came in and asked to use the bathroom. Time to hop in. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Well, then who was operating the store? Nobody. It was closed. With this guy locked in here? Was he alive when Caitlin 
Uh, no, I played for time of death about three <gasps> Then how could she, you know? The body can maintain an erection after expiration, sometimes for hours. Actually, I once had to tag a kid that broke his neck trying to put his mouth on his penis. <laughs> she come to have sex with a dead man? She thought it was me. What kind of convenience store do you have here? <laughs> so it's really creepy that she's in the ambulance with not just the guy, but then the other guy that just walked in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I still have that question. How did she not know it wasn't Dante? It was someone else, because like, different. Everything's different. Salsa shark. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Man goes into cage. Cage goes into salsa. S salsa? I don't think I've ever heard it pronounced that way. I smell like shoe polish. My ex-girlfriend is catatonic after <laughs> fucking a dead guy. And my present girlfriend has sucked 36 dicks. 37. My life's in this shitter right now. And if you don't mind, I'd like to stew a bit. Then why don't you quit? Oh, like it's that easy. It is. You just up and quit. There's other jobs. Oh, you're comfortable, right? This is a life of convenience for you, and any attempt to change it would shatter the pathetic microcosm you fashioned for yourself. Like your life's any better. Hey, I'm satisfied with my situation for now. He does seem content with life. This. You date Veronica because it's convenient and she's low maintenance. But meanwhile, all you ever do is talk about Caitlyn. You carry a torch for a girl you dated in high school. So what, you're gonna sit there and be miserable because you don't have the guts to face change? My mother told me once that when I was three years old, my potty lid was closed. And instead of me lifting it, I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the type of person who disrupt things just so I can shit comfortably. He has self-awareness at least. <laughs> noise, noise, noise. Smoking weed, smoking weed, doing coke, drinking, drinking beers. beers, drinking beers, 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 rolling fatty, smoking blunts. Who smokes blunts? We smoke blunts. Hi, I am editing this reaction right now and I felt the need to clarify how I know that song because I didn't realize that that song is from this universe. My best friend, So Ever Dream, who also does reactions here on YouTube, I have known him through Twitch for like three and a half years. And for the last probably two plus years, he has had that song as his 420 bit alert. I just wanted to clarify that because I feel like a lot of you'd be like, wait, how do you know that song if you've never seen these movies before? Anyway, that's how. And back to the reaction. Drink some beers, get ripped, and hopefully get laid. 179. Paid a good man. I love this guy on the right because I don't think he said a fucking word in this whole movie. Maybe he said like two. <laughs> but he's mostly just been the quiet smoking guy. Shit, my grandma used to say, what's better? Fucking a good play with nothing on it? No way, I fucked up. <laughs> what's a good play with nothing on it? Come on, Silent Bob, let's get the fuck. Silent Bob, okay, so he just doesn't talk. Honestly. I'm here for him. You know, there's a million fine looking women in the world, dude. But they don't all bring in lasagna at work. Most of them just cheat on you. <laughs> Wise words. <laughs> Thanks, Silent Bob. <laughs> He's got a nice voice. I love her. So that's it. He doesn't love you anymore. He loves Kate. Oh, no. Randall. Ow! What'd you do that for? You didn't want to go out with me anymore. Why didn't you just say so? Instead, you pussyfoot around and see that slut behind my back. What are you talking about? It's See, mister, I'm going to put the hookers in Times Square to sh <laughs> You want your sled? Fine, the sled is yours. I don't want Caitlin. You yes, you do. I've tried with you, Dante. Take charge of your life and find direction. I even transferred, so maybe you'd be more inclined to go back to college. Veronica's a real one. I loved you and wanted to see you pull yourself out of this senseless funk that you've been in since that whore dumped you all so many years ago. I don't want to go back. Of course not, not now. You're caught, and now you're trying to snake out of doing what you wanted to do. Well, I won't let you. He was all for it until Caitlyn had sex with a dead man. I'm just glad that Randall had the balls to tell me since you couldn't. Randall? Veronica, I love you. Oh, fuck you. Hmm, too late, bud. Fight, 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 fight. I gotta clean all this shit up. Was it worth it? Probably not. You're always saying how you can't initiate change yourself. I thought I'd give you a hand. <laughs> You know, sometimes I think the only reason you come to work is to make my life miserable. You know what the real tragedy about all this is? I'm not even supposed to be here today! Oh, fuck you! It all boils down to that. There you go, trying to pass the buck. I'm the source of all your misery. Who closed the store to play hockey? Who closed the store to go to a wake? Who tried to win back his ex-girlfriend without even discussing how he felt with his present one? You want to blame somebody? Blame yourself. I'm not even supposed to be here today. You sound like an asshole! Jesus, you overcompensate for having what's basically a monkey's job. <laughs> Bro is shook. <laughs> 
you're uh, so obsessed with making it seem so much more epic, so much more important than it really is. Christ, you work in a convenience store. Randall knows what's up. We like to make ourselves seem so much more important than the people that come in here to buy a paper or God forbid cigarettes. Well, if we're so fucking advanced, what are we doing working here? Love that. You working tomorrow? Same time. I'm calling out. Going to the hospital and visit Caitlin. And then I'm gonna try to talk to Veronica. If you want, I can talk to her and try and no, thanks. Want me to do anything before I get out of here, man? Just wrangle out the door. No. Here comes Randall. He's a buzzerker. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> If you enjoyed this reaction, please let me know by clicking that like button down below. And I don't know that I'm going to be talking a whole lot in this review because I feel like I don't have a whole lot to say outside of what my reaction kind of spoke for in and of itself. I really enjoyed this movie. I loved this comedy. Rewatchability. I feel like it's decently high for me with this one. I just really loved the fly on the wall vibe that this movie gave. It was so simple, set in the span of a day, realistic conversations, realistic manners, wild topics, but like very age appropriate, I feel, and gender appropriate, I guess we'll say. And yeah, it was just, it was fun. I loved it. I also really enjoyed the grainy black and white vibes with the visuals. And that just really adds to the fact that I feel like this movie was made and shot by college kids. And maybe it was, like, I don't know how old these actors were um, because the actors were the ones who made it, I think, just based on the names that were going in the credits. I'm gonna have to look back and see. I actually should just look up about this movie in general. And I think I definitely wanna watch more in the view askew universe. <laughs> I attended high school in the 2000s, so while it wasn't the 90s, I do feel like generally mannerisms, especially with guys, kind of were the same from the 90s into the 2000s. And I say that just because these guys reminded me so much of the guys that I went to high school with and even the guys that I went to college with. And so watching this and listening to these conversations and laughing like I did, it just it really made me feel young again. It made me just kind of travel back in time to those days. Randall was definitely my favorite. I just loved his whole vibe. We'd be best friends if I ever were to meet exactly that character right out of that movie. <laughs> he just had like this general carefree vibe to him that I really appreciated. I really loved his silly moments, but I also loved his more like firm pep talk moments with Dante. I also love that he was just so content with life and he strikes me as the kind of guy where I feel like the moment that he decides he doesn't want to be at the video store anymore, like he would just literally quit in that moment, walk out, probably walk like five blocks down the road, walk into some other store and just be like, hey, can I work here? And they'd probably hire him and then he'd be content again. Like he just, he gives me those vibes. Dante was interesting. He was my second favorite and the man definitely has like some flaws to him, pros and cons. I mean, everyone in the world is flawed, let's be real. But I don't know, with Dante, I feel like he was the character that they wrote all the relationship shit with, right? So we got Veronica, we had this um, Caitlin Brie girl, like, you know? And Dante makes sense to be the character that you would want to do that with, because out of everyone that was in this movie, he was definitely like the most responsible guy, probably the smartest guy. I really enjoyed Veronica. I think she's a queen. She 100% deserves better though, and I hope that she goes and finds it. In my opinion, Dante needs to figure some things out a little bit, and it wouldn't hurt him to take Veronica's advice and go back to school and get an education. And through that, maybe figure out life a little bit. However, in saying that, this movie made me remember how much pressure there is as like when you're in your late teens and early 20s to set a trajectory for your life. But the thing is, once you get to your late 20s or your early 30s or your late 30s or your 40s, just any age, I feel like past late 20s, you realize that your trajectory is not set in stone. You can literally change your life path at any goddamn point that you want to. You can have multiple different careers and experiences and friends and whatever, partners, whatever in your whole life. The trajectory that you pick at 18 or 19 or 20 or 22 is not set in stone at all in any way. And I know this all too well, as if you had asked me a decade ago what I would be doing at the age that I am now, there's no way in hell I ever would have predicted that I am a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> and also too, sometimes your life path has changed without your consent or say so. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting too deep. 
but you know what I mean. Anyway, I think that's all I have to say. Like I said, I'm so up for more movies in this universe, so let me know if I have to watch all of them in order or if I can be picky and choosy. Like I said, I haven't really looked into it at all, so I have no idea. What I will say, though, is I am very, very, very excited to go to Letterboxd and see what some other people have to say. So let's go. The first review is four stars by Kayla, and she says, if I lived in this movie, I would be in love with Randall. And I, yep, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Immediately after that one, there is a four star review by Cookie that says my crush on Randall, proof of my mental illness. Oh no. <laughs> Next is a five star review by Jaxi that says this movie is lucky it's so damn good because the generation of film boys it inspired have been terrorizing my gender for years. <laughs> I love these reviews. I love them. All right, I'm going to include one more review. This is four and a half stars by Sonic that says, not much needs to be said about Clerks other than that it is a minor masterpiece in terms of relatability. I also think this is a clear example of a film that you either dig or you don't. And let me tell you, I certainly dig it. Lastly, Randall's take on Return of the Jedi is the exact type of shit I love to randomly talk about. Same. <laughs> And of course, now we have reached that time of the video where I now turn it to you and ask you to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you enjoyed about my reaction, but also let me know what your opinion of Clerks is. Are you like me? Do you dig this movie? Do you have a good time with it? Or is it one that you're like annoyed by? You don't really understand it. It's not for you. It's not your thing. Let me know. And for emoji assignment, well, Clerks, money, cash register. So put dollar bills, credit cards, whatever you want in the chat in terms of the emoji today. Thank you to everyone on Patreon for the financial support. Thank you to you for watching today. And if you're not yet subbed here to the channel, please join almost 19,000 other people. It would be really awesome to hit that 20,000 number one day. And if you are wanting to watch something else of mine, click on over here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers.